Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying uh, three different things. <laughs> this is uh, World Cuisine Saffron Road Crunchy Chickpeas in the Salted Caramel Variety. And I have a love corn. One is the, we're the smoky bar smoke barbecue and the habanero chili. Laurie sent us these from Texas. Uh, she paid, for the love corn, she paid $1.79 in Central Market. Not too bad, I guess. And she paid $2.58 in HEB for the Saffron Road. So we're going to try the salted caramel first. It says no artificial ingredients, four grams of protein per serving, uh, salted caramel chickpeas. Uh, let's see, roasted to crunchy perfection and swirled in salted caramel. Four and a half servings are in the container, a fourth of a cup or 30 grams and 130 calories. And this is a resealable bag. Hmm. They smell good. Okay. Sorry about chickpeas. I think we've had them before though and they weren't bad. Mmm. I like this. Good flavor. The texture's a little different than I'm used to eating, but... Oh, I like it. It reminds me of those burnt peanuts. A little bit. Mm -hmm. A little softer than that. Not quite as crunchy. Mm-hmm. I don't know. A lot of people are going to think... If, you, if you're not in the United States, I don't know if you have them or not. A burnt peanut is not a burnt peanut. A burnt peanut is like a... It's like a peanut that they put in this candy, and it's red, and it has these Bumpy. bumpies all over it, and it has a really good texture. It's not burnt at all. That's just the name of them, burnt peanuts. This one is kind of a, it's got a crunchy outside, but it's kind of got a, not mushy, it's kind of a, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of, the kind outside, of a firm inside. Oh, the inside. Oh. I think it's like a peanut on the inside. Yeah, it's kind of crunchy, but it mushes up. A peanut on the inside with a this. Honestly, it reminds me of a burnt peanut. That that to me, that's it. it I like these a lot. But it's I not think as crunchy. I don't. If you're comparing it to a burnt peanut, they're not as cr that crunchy on the outside. It's very crunchy on a burnt peanut. I would eat that whole bite. I think those are delicious. Talk about delicious. Them. They're good. That, and apparently, they're not my they thing, make but... one with sea salt too. Yeah. Okay. These are love corn. Howdy, just so you know, we're a delicious, gluten-free, vegan, smoky, premium, roasted corn snack. P.S. Yeah, we're crunchy, we're delicious, smoked barbecue. Uh, howdy, y'all ready for some barbecue goodness? Smothered in smoking hickory. It's all done nice and slow. You just don't rush into something that's good. Y'all better be kicking off those boots and staying a while. Love corn. Uh, this is a product of Spain. Huh. One bag is 190 calories. Same, same thing for mine. The other one. I've gotten to where I like this roasted corn flavor. Mm -hmm. It's not as strong as I thought it would be. It's not as barbecue y. Mm -mm. But it's good. It's got a little bit of a smoke flavor. Mm. Very corny. That would be good to add in to the, the tra trail mix mm -hmm. from Walmart. Yeah. Because it already has some corn in it, but does it just it's just corn. It doesn't have a barbecue. Right. Corn. This would Kevin buzz the Cajun and I eat it too at night for a snack. This would be good to pour into that bag and mix it all together. It would. It is not um it's supposed to be smoked barbecue. Honestly, I don't think it's strong at all. No, like I said, it's just a touch. It's mostly corn. Yeah. Even though I really like it, it's just I wouldn't expect smoke barbecue for that if you buy it. Now this is This the is uh, habanero, habanero chili. Spicy. Mm. Mm. Um, we love roasting in, roasting in the best habanero spices that gets us all hot and bothered to give us for our spicy ways. Now I'm expecting some heat. Habaneros are usually a slow. Mm. A little bit, yeah. That does have a little bit. You just have to give it a minute. 
It's non-GMO corn, um, habanero, chili, sea salt, and sunflower oil. Yeah, I, I do. Enough. That does have a habanero flavor. Yeah, it's a little bit. Give it a minute because the first few bites you take, it's you don't feel it at all. Mm -hmm. But then it settles in on the back of your tongue. It's not bad though. I think if you don't like hot, you wouldn't like it. Right. But if you're used to like a medium salsa, I think you could have that. Yeah, yeah it's not really strong. Because it's not, it's not, yeah, it's not like a, uh, yeah, kind of burn you to death. Just a little tingle in the back of your throat. Yeah. So, so those are good. I like both of these. I like the corn snack though, because I like a, like a Fritos and corn chips and stuff like right. that. So these, these are mine. Out of these two, I would pick the smoked bar barbecue, and that's only because I'm not always in the mood for something with the heat, and that does have heat. Yeah. The habanero does have heat. Uh, this doesn't have any heat at all, but it has very little barbecue too, so right. just don't be expecting barbecue. I agree. Uh, the Saffron Road, I love the salted caramel. I think that is a delicious knife. If you're looking for something different, you should try these because these are very, yeah. very good. So, Laurie, thank you very much for sending us these. I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.